Guys, this is an in-depth tour of the all-new 2020 Toyota Yaris ZR Hybrid. Towards the front, you've got full LED headlights, as you can see. You can also see they are blacked out as well, which is a little nice detail inside the headlight there. Let's go towards the side. You can see you've got four parking sensors integrated into the front bumper there. See the badge also is a little bit got a little bit of blue there, and the reason for that is to indicate that it is a hybrid version. That's the way you can tell. You can see you've got a completely different front fascia. You can also see towards the top there you got some little this little nice pattern. So the top of the headlight there, and if you can see it's a little bit hard to see on the angle. Nice little detail. The fuel consumption of this car is an impressive 3.3 liters per 100 kilometers, urban 2.8, extra urban 3.6. It's actually really, really impressive fuel consumption numbers. So it's a petrol electric hybrid, it's got a 1.5 liter engine, CBT transmission, five door hatch. You got LED indicators mounted to the side of your mirrors to help visibility. It's also improved safety, especially when you're changing lanes. It makes it a lot more easier for other people to see you, which is good. Show your wheels here. So being this is the tops of the range, so obviously you get a slightly different style wheels, body kits. So in terms of tires, they are Bridgestone, the Copia EP150 tires. In terms of the tire size, they are a 16 inch, 16 inch tire and they are made in Japan. So it's like a soft compound tire. Because the side walls are a little bit more softer and that's how they get less rolling resistance, increasing their fuel economy, in case you're wondering. Four star wheel, you see, got this nice black finish. See, it's a hybrid. So you can see you've got the same sort of handles that you've got on the new Yara, a new Corolla as well. It's pretty cool. So you've got your third braking light there. You've got this sort of nice blacked out sort of spoiler here. You can see the sort of, kind of reminds me of the other RX-7. It's like fully black. You can see this whole black trim there. And four LED tail lights. Also really cool. You can see the Yaris model the ZR. Got a rig backup camera as well. Four parking sensors integrated to the rear bumper. Got a reverse light there as well. Got a single exhaust. And you've got a looks like a solid beam. A bit hard to see. So I'm not used to this camera, so it's a little bit different than my traditional one. See so your key fobs, this is the key fob on the Yaris, it's a little bit different. Kind of looks like the ones you get on all the other Toyota models as well. A little bit blue there, just to show you it's a hybrid. Press down the key fob. Let's go back. So it's actually quite flat here, which is great, so it makes it a lot easier to slide your suitcase over without having any ridges if i pull this up and you can see also it's adjustable so you can see you can actually increase the depth of it if you want to lower the floor storage you've got a space and a spare tire it's all there being the hybrid you would get a little bit less boot space which is fair enough and i'll just fold on the rear seats the rear seats now i was comparing it to the I think the non-hybrid version. I was wondering, would the seats be flat if you fold them down? Because of you got the, you have to deal with the battery, right? The battery is right under here. In case you're wondering. So I was actually wondering whether it will be flat. No. You can see here, it's nice and flat. How good's that? So this is really great. So it makes it a lot more easier to slide. Large suitcases or slide, slide 
larger items across, so it's actually pretty cool. Very cool stuff. Show you on the sides here. Good look. So very nice. So how I folded down the seats, there's a little toggle there. I just pressed that. And I did the same on the other side. Ooh, sorry. Single handle here. Show you the interior of the new Yaris. So here's the interior of the all new Toyota Yaris. So being the top of the range, you get these different sort of gauges. You've got this full digital display. So this is a hybrid, so this is powered on. You can have a look. Very cool. Look at that. So left, that tells you where you can park, drive, or neutral. And towards the right, you've got your information, such as your digital display that shows you your speed, your, your temperature gauge, and you've got your fuel gauge. And you can see you've got a little multifunction display there as well that displays all your information. Very cool stuff. Actually, it also has like a really nice, the, the color looks very rich as well. So you've got deep blacks and everything, which is really nice. Like really great graphics, really impressed. And then you've got all your warning information, all that stuff towards the top there. So towards the left, you've got your wipe controls and you've got your headlight indicator controls to the right. All Yaris's are built in Japan, in case you're wondering. You can see it feels very solid. The steering wheel is leather wrapped. It's not it doesn't have a flat bond style, but it's very nice. And you can see that you got this not you got some nice bolstering here. It's not as um not as heavy as compared to other ones, other steering wheels, but you can see it's got this really nice black stitching on if you can see in there. Really, really nice stuff. And you can see all the switches feel really solid, which is actually really great. Pantry telephone, volume controls here. And you got all your controls here for to seek three stations. Lane departure warning, you've got your radar for your um, adaptive cruise control. All cars come standard with uh, Toyota's safety sense technology. So adaptive cruise, um, what else do you have? You've got lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring system as well. I don't know if you can see it. What that does, it kind of illuminates that little thing, little little piece of graphics there and then lets you know this car and your blind spots are very useful and a lot of other stuff which I add in the motion graphics you can see you got some nice painted black trim here so all hard plastics here over there you can see also you get the heads up display little piece of plastic or glass that comes up and it projects all your information over there and you got a little bit of some soft touch material here as well and this sort of plastic piping here some nice storage some more cubbies here. This sort of texture finished here as well. We'll test out the head unit, see what you've got on the Yaris. I'll just press it twice. So it's a little bit hot in here, so if I am sweating, I do apologize. So Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard across the whole range, very useful. If you go for the SX and the ZR onwards, you get navigation as well. Even though you won't really use it, it'll be useful when you're going on road trips when you don't have reception when using Google Maps. So we'll just test up the radio. So I will, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise and lower the volume constantly just to avoid copyright. So it's, it's quite nice. Source, just a little, just like, so I've got DOB, DOB digital radio on this one as well, pretty cool, and you can see the response nerf is actually quite nice. I'll do a separate video where I can just do a review on just the head unit, which I'll probably do. Phone, apps, navigation, oh, sorry, let's go back, oh, there you go, so you can see, there's the, so you can see the responsiveness of the screen, put your destination, we just test it out. Look at the screen is. Ugh, what doing? I don't even know how to type. Anyway, you get the idea. 
but yeah, you can see it's actually quite good. So, climb control. So, we'll just turn it on to see how we go. Didn't turn on the battery, that's embarrassing. So, your highest temperature looks like it's 32, and the lowest temperature is 18. It's a really good display, you can see it's actually really nice. Illuminate, you can see recirculate. Eco heat and cool. Hmm, interesting. So I think that's when it doesn't use the um, aircon. It just uses the engine heat to heat the car and uses the ventilation as you're driving through to cool the car. I believe that's what that's for. Um, you got front, rear, and obviously the side mirrors defogger, which is actually pretty cool. So you can see that even the buns have some nice tacked off finish. Even all the buns feel really nice. I just do that a lot just to show you the quality. But these two blank buttons, maybe for the for Japan or a different market, you got extra features. You've got a 12 volt slash 120 watt power outlet. The texture finished here. Some more gloss black trim. Um, your transmission, I believe it's a 10 speed CBT. Oh, let me just confirm that with you. In the motion graphics. Um, you got EV, mo EV mode, which means you can just drive on the battery alone. In terms of the range, again, I'll probably let you guys know. Um, you can see you can turn up your traffic control, different driving modes. You can see your handbrake here, it's got this little rubber saw style handbrake. And you got some good storage here, so you can see you got storage here. You can fit this bottle here, which is also good. Okay, just dropped out. Another one here, and you've got this kind of weird one over here. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. And you've got some interesting cubbies here too. So like for example, if you look here, you've got some storage here, which I find a bit... A little bit weird, but it's I guess it's good. The, this interesting design of the of the of the of the handles. So you can see you've got this old bucket star seat, which is pretty cool. Very kind of looks like reminds you of the eight six. So this you got this kind of nice pattern here, and this little red stitching. Very heavily bolstered too, so nice and sporty. Different. Colors as well. So you got a sun visor, another one here, interior illumination. Yeah, very cool. Just step out for a minute, it's getting a little bit too hot. See the door cards here also, they are hot plastics. The sort of red piping there, also some nice, this sort of, I think a sheet of the sort of soft touch or semi soft touch material here. Even though the switches feel really nice, you can see, feel very well screwed together. Um, yeah, very cool, some more piano black trim. And you can see how it fits there nicely. Um, manual seats, I thought this would be electric, but yeah, no, it's not. And it looks like you got a card holder there to hold your cards and stuff like that. Very cool. So we'll check out the receipts. Now obviously I've moved this a bit forward so I might try and slide that a bit more. So you've got a single cup holder here. You can drink there nicely. All hard plastics here. You don't get the same sort of finish there. You've got two isofix points, sorry four isofix points here to mount a small child seat. Looks like you don't get a center armrest, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's alright. Now, being the ZR, I can't expect it to have less room, because you've got the more beefier sort of style seats. But, um, it's surprising still have a lot of room, which is still good. So, I'm really short, so obviously I'm going to have a lot of room. So, I'm not the best example, but yeah, I would say you can fit here comfortably. I'm 5'5", five five, in case you're wondering, so yeah, I'm quite short. Um, decent visibility here. You got a bit of a blind spot there, but you got a blind spot monitoring system, so I guess that's fine. You got a little bit of transmission tunnel, but again, you still have place to keep your feet, which is good. So we'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seat.
This is actually a huge step up um, for Toyota in comparison to the Prius model. So all hard plastics here, you can see the switches here. Um, a lot of people are saying that the new Yaris is quite more expensive than the Prius one, which is true. That being said, you're getting a lot more features that are standard, especially for this car for this sort of size. So I would forgive it because of the, the price. So I think it's good in that sense. Okay, here's the engine. 1.5 litre. Main Japan, is it proof there? Corners, air box here. And that's the motor for the um, hybrid system. So you have the battery on the seat, on the rear seats, your motor, and then you've got the actual engine, and you can alternate power, and that's how it saves fuel. So you can see also the cabling, a bit hard to see in there. And very cool stuff. I think this one retails really for 36, 36,000 Australian dollars. So yeah, a little bit expensive, 36 or 32. Not too sure, I'll, I'll just let you guys know with the video graphics. Well, that's my little walk around of the all new Toys Yaris ZR Hybrid. Hope you enjoyed this video. For, this car is for sale, so I'll leave the link in the description below if you're interested to contact me with my email. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.